Well, g'day guys, welcome to the channel. A little bit more of a sunny day. Yesterday was quite um, overcast. We're actually at my home block and we've been trying to get it sown for a while and it's just been wet and gluggy and um, there was a vlog earlier in the floods. I'm, I'll put the link in the description to that one. I can't remember which vlog number it was, but um, yeah, it was pretty nasty. So since then it's been pretty hard to farm in the wet, but we've come up with a new strategy to try and get through it. Well, the planter is properly bogged. Uh, we tried last night quite a bit to get it out, couldn't. It was about 12.30 in the morning. So we only had the Massey then. We got, now we've got a couple of tractors hooked up. Let's see if we can pull it out. Massey Ferguson 4840. Uh, this is the non-turbo 
903 Cummins. Um, and this has done nearly 17,000 hours. I think, I think around maybe four or 6,000 hours of had some engine work done, but um, yeah, she's been a solid rig, that's for sure. Well guys, we've got about eight hectares maybe left here to do. Uh, but yeah, absolutely no way we'd be doing some of this without a bit of a hand. It's a uh, good old massive. So this actually just, it's a bit like an anchor and it holds the front of the track straight because with those two track tractors, once you get into a bit of a wet patch or whatever, it, it, it'll want to spit one way or the other because you'll lose traction on one track and it'll try to turn you. But with this way, because I'm pulling it forward, it's not one to go sideways, so both tracks are, are keeping um, traction. Guys, if you enjoy the videos, just hit the like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So last night we finished up at just that little block that was uh, near my house. We actually brought the Massey over to here. We're at the other main farm. You might remember two weeks ago, I think it might have been. We were planting wheat and barley here. Um, and then, but before that, we'd planted linseed over the other side. Um, so there's linseed over, you can't really see it, but it's over that way. Um, and then I'm standing in where the barley is. Um, and then behind these trees here, there was um, 100 and 50 hectares or something of wheat. Uh, I was rushing to get this sown before we had that rain, so that's when I did those couple of late nights to try to get it done, and we did get it done. Um, but as there's always a possibility when there's rain forecast, um, you can have uh, it sort of drown the crop a bit. Now we're probably looking at maybe five to 10% might need re so we're here today trying to just get as much done as we can. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's dry enough, but I'll um, flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. You can see here, this has obviously been uh, a little waterlogged. We probably, I think we ended up with 30 mil of rain um, after we sowed and that was probably about 10 mils too much. I reckon it probably would have handled 20 mil of rain, but yeah, you just can't predict these things. So I'm standing in a pretty bare patch here um, and yeah, you can just tell that it's been, the water's been sitting here for a while. Um, still a little damp there, but if we go, well, I guess I can walk back over here. And you can just see where it dips up and it's, it's a bit of a rise there and the water's obviously shed off it okay. Um, we've got some good, good, uh, yeah, good barley coming up. So what we're doing now is, see how good the zoom is? There we might be able to just see. Phil is actually just re a bit of linseed. Um, and yeah, that is, appears to be going pretty well. Um, I'm just out scouting what might need to be re or not. We've got a little bit we can do here on the barley and I'm just about to go and check out the wheat. Now this actually shows you a bit like what the weather was like. Anywhere where grain fell on top of the ground, and you can see there, that is the seed there. It's got a bit of that coating on it we put on it, that pink stuff. So that was just sitting on top of the dirt and that's grown into a, it's not very well supported, but it's uh, it's doing fine. So here's, that's what all these ones are too. That's sitting out on top. That one was sitting out on top. So <laughs> yeah, we could have just run over it with the spreader and probably that one was just on top there. You can see the seed. Um, so probably could have just spread it out in front of it and it would have would have come up. But yes, we brought the Massey down just in case we need to hook up and drag through in a couple of areas. So I'll make use of my drone and I'll go scouting. I've got the call. Uh, I've got to go just help pull the cat along. So what happens in this soil is it's quite sticky and it actually um, just binds up all the um, press wheels and the colder wheels and everything and it just becomes quite hard to pull. So 
that's where this old girl will hopefully help. Need two hands to start it. Chilly morning this morning. The door won't close. Alright, let's go. Put some barley in it and we'll see how it goes. We'll try without the Massey and if we get to a point where we think we need it, we'll hook her on. She's still wet but I've got seed sort of just on top. Um, so but yeah there is the odd one down so we only want to go in really shallow so that's probably probably not too bad with a bit of drizzle and rainy weather that's forecast even some of those on top will probably come up Well, I left Phil down there to play away in the mud. Um, it was pulling it all right without the Massey. Uh, but yeah, we've just had a bit of a rain event come through and it looks like there's another one coming. So not sure how much further we're gonna be able to go with that. Um, Brad had to pull up on the, on the sprayer. Um, we're just tidying off a few jobs in the shed and see if we get any more rain and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. But uh, that might be the end of this video anyway. We'll catch you in the next one.